tucked away off West Saanich Road, out of sight, is at times a loud, stinky, and busy place. For more than 50 years, we've been throwing our waste into the Heartland landfill. Food, couches, diapers, plastic. You don't want it, it ends up here. Every year, 140 tons of garbage gets dumped here, and 4,800 tons comes from the city of Victoria. Currently, each day, one and a half tractor trailers of garbage are taken from Victoria households and transported to the Heartland landfill. But this old dump only has so much life left. It's expected to reach its capacity by 2035, unless new and innovative ideas are found. Garbage days in the city of Victoria are about to get a whole lot greener. The city is heading for a kitchen scraps program, which will start in January 2013. But before that can happen, they want to hear from you about which option you'd prefer. They have the option of either having a backyard service or a curb, curbside service, uh, an alternating week service or a bi-weekly service. They're the options that they have. All options include organics. This pile represents one family's household garbage in a year. Now the green ones are organic waste, which will now, because of the Kitchen Scraps program, be diverted from the landfill. It's about 30% of organic waste. The Kitchen Scraps program will include all food and leftovers, uh, such things as fruits, vegetables, eggshells, meat, fish, poultry, bones, dairy products, solidified fats and grease. Victoria isn't the first to get on board for this kind of program. View Royal and Oak Bay both have similar ones. The CRD has been looking to get a region-wide kitchen scraps program going for a few years now, but Victoria decided not to wait. We had been waiting for a regional option and, and we're very supportive of a regional option in terms of um, region-wide collection, um, but this was an opportunity that presented itself now and, and the city has, has proceeded to introduce this for 2013. Depending on which option is being voted for, it will cost anywhere between $230 to $160 annually per household. And some options are greener than others because there's less truck fuel involved. No matter which option is chosen, all the organic waste will be heading to Mill Bay, where it will be turned into fertilizer. The city is hoping to wrap up its public input stage by the end of December and announce the decision in January. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.